both American and English literature now are learning from, borrowing from each other. I mean, uh, uh, American literature established itself by uh, dis distancing itself from European literature, finding its own or, you know, authentic American voice. And then it became so powerful that um, Britain began, English writers began to learn from and borrow from American writers. Uh, Henry James was a, a writer who learned from Europe and, and came and lived in Europe. And, um, uh, Mark Twain was a writer who uh, resisted the European mode and, and created a kind of authentic uh, vernacular literature which belonged to America. Uh, I think the main difference is this really, that the American writers, serious writers, have always had to create a language and an audience and find an audience whereas the European writer inherited a language, a literary language and there was a ready-made audience for high culture there um, and a historic tradition in every country. In America that wasn't the case. The American writer has to as it almost start from scratch each time, you know. Well, of course, being a, a contributor to contemporary literature, I, I can't judge it objectively. You never read the work of your own peers uh, objectively because, in a sense, you're all competing with each other. Uh, I think it's a great supermarket of different styles at the moment. What most strikes me is that there is no fashion, there is no, uh, you know, fashionable kind of writing that dominates our time. There's just a huge variety of different methods, techniques, modes, and, uh, you know, you, you um, pays your money and you takes your choice.